Rosanna Scotto, thank you so much for joining us. So in about an hour from now, Daniel Penny will face a judge for his arraignment. He was indicted by a grand jury in the chokehold death of Jordan Neely on the subway. Mr. Penny claims that he acted in defense of himself and other people on that train. Briella Tomasetti has more from Lower Manhattan where we're expecting uh, Daniel Penny and his lawyer to um, walk up those steps. What's going on? Yeah, Rosanna, good morning to you. They are not here yet, at least according to our knowledge. The big question is where they're going to enter. Right now, the court officers are outside the uh, courthouse. They have the front area, the walkway, essentially blocked off. Reporters are pushed across the street. But Penny, last time, we know he went through a back entrance. So, again, it's kind of just playing a waiting game at this point. Police initially charged Daniel Penny with second-degree manslaughter, which carries a maximum sentence of 15 years in prison. The charge to be unsealed later today, again, less than an hour from now, may differ. The DA cannot comment on them until that happens. Now, a grand jury began convening earlier this month to discuss the case. They ultimately voted to indict Penny in connection with Neely's death. The 24-year-old Long Island Marine veteran, he was seen on video putting 30-year-old Neely in a chokehold during what appeared to be a mental breakdown. Penny claims he was protecting himself and others on the subway, but lawyers for Neely Neely's family have called the act, quote, intentional. Neely, who was homeless, had more than 40 prior arrests and a history of mental illness. The medical examiner's office eventually ruled his death a homicide. Penny surrendered to officers at the NYPD's 5th Precinct after prosecutors announced criminal charges. In a few short video clips released by his attorneys, he gave his account of what happened. Take a listen. The three main threats that he repeated over and over was, I'm going to kill you. I'm prepared to go to jail for life, and I'm willing to die. I knew I had to act. Yeah, and under New York law, uh, that grand jury indictment was needed. It was necessary for prosecutors to move ahead with this case. Again, Penny is set to be arraigned at 10 o'clock this morning. He's usually very prompt. We've seen that before. Again, less than an hour from now, we are waiting for that to happen. He will likely be greeted by a sea of reporters and photographers who are already out here lined up waiting for him to arrive. For now, we're li live in Lower Manhattan. Rosanna, back to you. All right, Priella, thank you so much for that update. And as the city continues to crack,